Welcome to Story Station, Season 2, Episode 2. In this episode, you can listen to two Jamaican stories. The first story is titled, The Fish Basket. The tiger is trying to bully Anansi out of his fish, but Anansi is much too clever for him. The second story is titled, The King's Two Daughters. This time, Anansi plays a clever trick on the tiger, only irritating him even more. Hope you enjoy it! I'll read a story called The Fish Basket. One great hungry time, Anansi couldn't get anything to eat, so he would take up his hand basket and his big pot and went down to the seaside to catch fish. When he reached there, he made up a large fire and put the pot on the fire and said, Come, big fish! And he caught some big fish and put them aside. Then he said, Big fish, go and make the little fish come. And then he would catch the little fish. Then he'd say, Little fish, go and make the big fish come. And he'd go on and on. Then he'd catch up, put the pot full and his hand basket. And he'd pile the pot full and sit down and eat it all up. He then started home, back with the pot on his head and the basket. Reaching a little way, he hid the pot away in the bush and took the basket along with him. While going along, he met up with Tiger. Now Tiger is a very rough man, and Anansi was afraid of him. Tiger said to him, What do you have in the basket? Speaking to him very rough. Anansi spoke in a very feeble voice and said, Nothing, nothing. The both of them passed each other, and when they went on a little way, Tiger hid in the bush and watched Anansi. Anansi then sat down underneath the tree, opened his basket, and took out the fishes one by one and said, Oh, a pretty little fish this is, and he put it aside. He'd take out a snapper and say, Pretty little snapper this is, and he'd put it aside. He'd take out a jackfish and say, Pretty little jackfish, and put it aside. The tiger ran up to him and said, Think you have it nothing in that basket, huh? Anansi said, I was just going down to the sea to have a bathe, and I caught a few little fishes. The tiger said, Give it to me here in a very rough manner, and Anon and Tiger took them all to eat and spit up the bones. Anansi then took up the bones and ate them, and while eating, he grumbled and said, But look, it was my labor I did. And the Tiger said, What did you say? Anansi said, Fly humbug me face, brushing his face. So both of him started to go home now with the empty basket. But this time, Anansi was watching for Tiger. When he reached part of the way, Anansi saw a fruit tree and said, What a pretty fruit tree! Tiger said, Climb it! So when Anansi got up and pulled some of the fruit, at that time the tiger was standing underneath the tree. Anansi looked down at the tiger's head and said, Look! There's lice in the tiger's head. And the tiger said, Come down and take it out then. Anansi came down and said to the tiger that he couldn't catch it without him leaning on the tree. So the tiger leaned on the tree. The hair on the tiger's head was very long. So while Anansi was catching the lice, the tiger fell asleep. Anansi now took the hair and lashed it around the tree, and tied Tiger up. After he had done that, he woke up Tiger and said that he couldn't catch any more. Tiger said in a rough manner, Come and catch it! I won't, Anansi said. So he ran off, and Tiger sprung after him, and found out that his hair was tied on the tree. So Tiger said, Come and loosen me up! And Anansi said, I won't. 
and he sung a little song. See how a Nazi tied the tiger. See how a Nazi tied the tiger. He tied him like a hog. See how a Nazi tied the tiger. And a Nazi left him to go home. And a hunter man came and saw the tiger tied on the tree. And he killed him. The end. I hope you enjoyed this story. The next story begins in a moment. I'll read a story called The King's Two Daughters. There was an Ansi. He would go out and court two young ladies who were the king's daughters and make them look like fools and make them catch him and tie him and then the two sisters would go look for a bundle of wood to make a fire under a kettle so he could so they could make him some hot water and after when they had left he anansi saw tiger was coming and said lord bra tiger i got into some trouble tiger said for what anansi said the king's daughter wants to come with me come tie me the tiger said you fool make yourself loose and tie me Anansi tied the tiger there now, and Anansi went to a grass root and a dodge. And when the missus go throw down the wood at the fire side, the littlest one, littlest one said, Sister, sister, look, the little uncle what we had tied under there. Let's turn him into a big uncle now. Sis, her sister said, I soon big uncle him. And then make up the and they made up the fire and burned up the water. Took two ladles and poured it up on Tiger, and he jumped and he jumped and he popped the rope and dumped on the grass root where Anansi was. Anansi laughed, ha 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 ha. And the tiger jumped upon Anansi and said, "We must go look." for wood and twine and to burn your back. The tiger saw some good wood on a cotton tree that was nice and dry and said, I don't care what you do. And when Anansi went up on the cotton tree and he chopped one of the limbs and put them on top and chopped again and boom! And hollered, none, tiger said. Cut the wood, man, and hollered again. None, Tiger said. Cut the wood, I tell you. Come down and make it, or I burn you. Anansi said, You stand upon the bottom and say, Cut the wood. But you know, the hunter man would look for you, like last year. What do you think upon this one, which is worse? And Tiger ran. Anansi said, he runs from the hunter man, and he went up the hillside and is gone. He moved from there, gone on the rubber side, and Anansi hollered, with him gone, the hunter man has ribber. The tiger wheeled back, and Anansi hollered to him to say to go to a sinkhole, and Anansi got rid of him and came off. The end. I hope you enjoyed this story. Thank you for listening to Story Station. We are adding stories as frequently as possible, so check back often. We would love to hear your feedback and any questions you may have. Thank you.